Hello everyone. Um, I'm um, Luke reading from a script on my computer, <laughs> so uh, bear with me here. It's my first time ever doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna try a different camera this time. And it's uh, it's easier to upload videos to my computer and and hopefully record longer than 15 minutes. The downside I can't pause, so here's hoping I get all this stuff in in one shot. I may record both reviews separately just to make things easier for me. Hey. Also, I apologize to you guys for how long this took to make. This is intended to be a review of the products for them. But I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. Okay, so, anyway, this is the Ugear Safe in its completed form. A lot further away from this thing that I was that I would like to be. Um, this thing is incredible. So much detail. Well, I apologize for obscuring this partially with my hand. <laughs> um, right, that really went all out with the lines here. This thing is just incredible. Well, if this thing were silver or at least gray, you'd think it was real. It is nearly a perfect cube. If it wasn't for all these little pieces on the sides here, on the sides and top and stuff, you'd think it was real. You'd think it was a cube. Um, as you can see, it's got the U Gears logo on the top here, and here and on the, on the bottom of the door. It's got these screw designs, and the front looks like a real, real safe door. Or, but it's mostly decoration. The gears here, it's here, around here, they um they will spin, but it's purely for looks. They don't control anything. It also uses common toothpicks for axles. If I can pick one up. <laughs> Just common store toothpicks. They're free to the restaurant. And um, as you can see, they um, use this decoration here. They use this, this axles here at some points, and I'll show you more axles once we get inside. Um, but, um, it's a nice little touch there. Use, or, um, using these things, these is very convenient, I suppose. As a, I suppose as some, comp as a, as opposed to me. Making something, something else, so that if you were to lose or break one, you'd have to order them, them special. Oh, well, as you can see, this thing also has feet on it. The, the four corners here, but you cannot stack these safes. Like, there's just, uh, there's just none of clearance. So the way these things are designed here, that would fit into the the corners or something. Thing, but um, thing, but these would uh, cause it to be lifted slightly above the sit below it. That would make it. These would make it. These would raise it slightly above the sit below it. That would make it a little difficult to use. as I like stacked safes. Um. Now, I measured the dimensions of this thing prior to shooting so I'm not going to use my measuring tape to um, on camera that was just obscure stuff however um, the measurements will be slightly off because of these notches here I couldn't get an exact measurement um, I used I guess you would call it line of sight measuring where um, I put the measure tape on the edge and I, I tried to guesstimate how high it was but um, also um, I'm going to, 
I'm going to use the American system. System, inches, feet, ex inches, feet, etc. I'm using my hand way too much here. Um, inches, feet, etc. For the metric system, see Mr. Puzzle's channel. Once again, hashtag not sponsored. Now, I may... Sorry, like I said, I'm reading from the script, but I'm getting ahead of myself in some places. Uh, okay, the external dimensions, approximately seven and three eighths, eighths of an inch wide, and seven and six eighths of an inch deep. When you add in the um, the accessories on the door here, and seven and one eighths inches tall. Again, we've got to. We got the difference because the, the side panels are the same, but the top is different from the bottom, design wise. Now, let's take a look at the inside. As you can see, the gears are spinning, but as I mentioned before, they don't do anything. It's just this little piece here. Here, and now I'll turn it back. And this thing does operate like a regular safe, so nice little function there. Uh huh. You see that handle there just popped down? And da 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 da. I'm not a professional uh, video, you know, guy, by the way. Uh, Okay, so, um, the internal dimensions, six and a half inches wide, can't really see it very good thanks to the door there, um, six and eight, six and, seven and six eighths inches deep, excuse me, and seven and one eighths inches tall. I'm sorry, I'm reading from the wrong line there. <laughs> um, six and a half inches wide, six and a half inches deep. But really, five inches deep when you consider the mechanism here takes up to takes up one and a half inches. Which is added, and this and the inside is a six and a half inches tall. But the door frame does take out a half in, inch on them on all sides here. Here, and there are the inner notches to consider. I can't really point you without a, point to them without obstructing it, but it doesn't really obstruct much. Also, there is a shelf in here. In here, as I've been, as you can see, it's about four inches deep and about four and a half, four and a quarter inches from the from the floor of the safe. Now, this thing can be moved, but it cannot be removed. It is very loosely. I'll try to show you if I can. Uh, here we go. It's very loosely sitting in there. But it cannot be taken out. Not unless you remove the front frame here. Um, let's see. Now there's one big con uh, with this thing. And that is... That, well, you can't set the combination. You can't... Set the combination... You only have so many limited options, and uh, show you where in the book here where it shows you those options. Now it actually goes into great detail about the construction of the book. Like I turned right to it. How about that? Um, sorry, my computer screen went blank for a moment there. Um.
Now, Summer here talks about the actual combinations you can do. Uh, ah, here we go. Not sure if you can see that very well. I do apologize. Um, okay. Now, as you see here, it has limited options that you can use. It's on here. Now, I attempted to um, go by this diagram of numbers to make my own, my own code. But as you can see here, two of the numbers are the same, which is really confusing. So I just want one of the presets. Now you can probably tinker with it and try to find out you know, other combinations, but I for one don't want to, want to run the risk of breaking anything because it is made of wood. And I tried doing the math. As you can see here, as I put it out, not all numbers are unique. That's really my own con about this, outside of the material, but you're buying a wooden 3D puzzle. You're not supposed to be expecting it to be hard as, to be strong as steel or anything. Now, um, this thing is meant to be basically a piggy bank. And I do apologize for the lighting in here. I didn't realize how dim it was. I should have done this during the day. Um... Uh, let me see, where was I? Uh, um, oh yes. Oh yeah, hence the um, dollar sign on the, um, on the safe door. I am. Um, it's basically meant to be basically a piggy bank, hence the dollar sign. It even has a slit on top that. Show right there. There, that, um. Uh, da, 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 da. I keep losing my place. <laughs> I apologize. Um, there's a on top that if you punched it out, you could actually drop coins into it. It's meant to be meant for you to drop coins into the slot. And I apologize for how unfocused this is. I mean, like how all over the place the camera is. <laughs> um, also, interesting thing in the instructions, the dollar sign was actually, actually flipped over ah, here it's a, it's backward here as you can see over that was it's very odd but easily corrected I didn't th I didn't think it did but I googled the sign for the British pound yeah, looks nothing like the American dollar sign. So no clue why they printed it this printed it, printed it this way. As for the mechanism itself, pretty incredible how and how simplistic it is. It's, it's made entirely out of wood, no metal at all, and it uses this rubber band. This rubber band for tension. It's a single rubber band that the uh, it's that hitches up here, loops around through the hole, and loops, and it connects back. Um, and yes, that's just one rubber band. Though there are spares, because they come with the kit. But as for building it, it calls for... Calls for Sandpaper. Paper. And tea light candle wax. Neither of which are included in the kit. Now, I was originally going to use old crayons, but when I discovered over we already had the candles, but then I, but then I discovered over we already had the candles. Also, I looked at the prices on these things, and to put it simply, if you can't afford these these cheap little things, you've got no business buying this. This, I mean, this thing cost fifty bucks. Thanks. The sandpaper didn't come. As I mentioned, the sandpaper didn't come with the kit, but I. But fortunately, I ha had some in my shop. It's a. 
little room I'm using and using to hold the various tools and supplies and things. Unfortunately, I had to pretty much grind at the edges of the main box frame. You can't see it here because of all the details, but here is a very good shot of it. This sort of design is all along the, um, the inside of the under the box itself. And I had to really grind at these edges to make this thing fit into place. This was a tight fit. Yeesh. Um, so yeah, if you have delicate fingers, you are not going to want to put this thing together. This thing was hard to do. But it was fun. <laughs> um, um, all the axles had to, had to be lubed to get them through the holes. Well, I mean, these the holes were pretty tight. But thankfully, um, the wax made it slip right through. So, um, beyond that, if it moves, it gets looped. The gears, for example. But very good, very good example of what needs to be looped on this thing. But don't think you have to melt the wax first. No, 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 no. Um, simple, simple rubbing will suffice. Now, the handle here attaches. Here attaches by a sawtooth design. Let's see if I can find it on here to show you what I'm talking about. Um, sorry, wrong way. I'm not even showing you the book on camera. <laughs> I've been making a lot of apologies on this thing. Um. here somewhere okay uh, yeah here we oh, wait okay here um, where was it so they are putting the handle in the place I know it's here somewhere well, anyway can't really see much detail on that but um This thing uses a sawtooth design, which basically means it can just slide up against another piece and lock into place. Well, um, ah, here's where it was, right in here. Again, you can't really see much detail because it's so tiny. But if I had thought to take a picture of the pieces, this is, um, or rather, I don't know. Never, I'm, I can't um, really edit videos outside of trimming their length, so I guess that wouldn't have helped much. Um, let's see if that'll focus. You cannot tell any detail on that. I apologize again. So anyway, um, as I was saying, the handle attaches by a sawtooth design that locks into place. So make sure you have all the washers. Cheers here. Make sure you have all the all the washers in place on it first. I was actually one short and I had to pull it back out. But it doesn't seem to have done any damage. Which, if for any reason you need to get into it but have forgotten the code, code there are emergency instructions in the book, but I think it'd be far too easy to simply fill for the clicks to worry about it. I mean, this thing, it's fun to play with, but, um, and I personally, um, do that first. <clears throat> Don't make this difficult for me, aren't you, camera? Um, I personally push up the handle first to make it easier for me to, to start spinning this because this is made of wood, not metal. So I don't want to run the risk of the tension breaking anything in here. So yeah, it's um, very easy to um, feel the clicks on this thing if, you, um, if you're patient with it. Also, I would recommend that you spin this thing counterclockwise all the way around twice 
so that you can basically reset the, um, the mechanism inside. Now, um, this little gadget came with the safe and it's used to push out the smaller pieces. It also has a measuring tool at the bottom there you see the three the, you see those three dots that's used to measure something it didn't come up in this puzzle so i assume this is a mass produced piece that's meant for something maybe used for the axles i don't know but it didn't it didn't never came up in this puzzle um so um all in all after building it and playing with it and Feeling the overall weight. I mean, this thing has some weight to it. I'd say maybe five pounds. I don't have a skill. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think to think to get that out of my bathroom. Um, I'd say it's my final score on this would be four out of five stars. The lack of possible combos takes one star off. So this thing is beautifully designed, I think. And I've seen pictures online. You can um, actually you're supposed to be able to um, paint this thing or color it in some way to make it look any way you want. After the um, after this review is over, I might decide to paint this whole thing gray like an actual safe. If I don't know. I may just keep it wood because I like the color of wood. I highly recommend this puzzle to anyone looking for a cute, it's small safe to store stuff in. And as I said before, it is designed to be a kid's piggy bank. Now, a parent may need to construct this thing. I highly recommend it because of how tight it is. And also, <clears throat> we're dealing with wood here, so um, a kid might have not, not yeah, a kid might not have the patience to um, build this thing, but they would definitely have a lot of fun using it. So um, that's all I got to say for now. And um, the next review will be on the lock, uh, the combination lock puzzle. Sorry. Um, so, see you then.